Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall at TFL Car. I'm here at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show with one of the most anticipated reveals since forever. It's the Acura NSX. Now, we're gonna find out all about it with our little engineer guy here coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. He is the global chief engineer of the new NSX, which basically means he was an engineer for the whole shebang. So, give me the inside scoop. What is the story on the new NSX? Well, the, the best thing about the new NSX is... It's here! It's here. <laughs> we can see it. Yay! Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> it even makes me lose my breath sometimes. Really? Yeah. But seriously, uh, just like... The first generation NSX, mm -hmm. it's really not about the technology. It's about creating this amazing sports car and amazing driving experience for our customers. So what gives me that amazing driving experience? What's our power plant that we're dealing with here? Well, the power plant, we call it the power unit. Ooh. It's very similar to an F1 vehicle where okay. you have an engine working together with electric motors. Okay. And it's working in all phases of driving acceleration, braking, and most importantly, when you turn the steering wheel. So I've got two electric motors that powers each front wheel, correct? Correct. And then I have a gasoline engine that powers the rear wheels? With another electric motor. No way, so I have three electric three motors. Three electric motors. So it's really a quad motor, mid-engine, V6, hybrid, supercar. You say it very well. That's so a I, lot I'm, of adjectives. I'm really surprised we haven't coined a term. Yo, well, you should. That. You can. I, go ahead. I'm just gonna. I'm so gonna copyright it. Power here in a minute. unit. <laughs> it's just like, but it 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 sounds very digital and complicated. Mm -hmm. But it's like the most high tech analog watch. Fascinating. It's analog. You people ask me, what would, how would I drive it? You just get in and drive. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, do I have different drive modes? There are different drive modes. Okay. So it starts up in sport mode. Which is where every car should right. start up. And then it has a sport plus okay. mode. Even more visceral. Now, will that turn my traction control completely and totally off with no nannies whatsoever, ever, ever? In, in, in any, in the track mode, okay. you can turn all the nannies off. And okay. that's very simple. Okay. It's a sep separate button, you just hit it. Okay. Just like in any other you don't have, car. well, but in any other car, sometimes you have to press the button and wait for 30 seconds and then get out and do a rain dance. And, you know, I mean, there's like a super there. secret way to do it. This is very simple one button and it's off. That's correct. And then it's all you behind the wheel. That's correct. All right. Okay, let's talk a little bit about steering. Okay. Is this an electric power steering or a hydraulic power steering setup? It's an electric power steering. Okay. And does it get weighted up um, depending on which drive mode you're in? That is correct. Okay. So I can still, like, kind of ease around in my, in my um, 12 car parking garage with ease. But well, then once I get it on the track uh, and up at speed, I feel uh, a little bit of resistance. Yeah, and, and you know, certainly there's a quiet mode to the left of sport. Okay. That's more of a touring mode. All right. It also provides full EV driving, almost silent. Which is and how, cool. what's the range on the EV if we go full EV? It's relatively short because this is not a plug-in hybrid with sure. a massive battery. So it's enough uh, range to really arrive in style depart in style okay and then you're gonna quickly want to get your foot into the throttle and it <laughs> automatically transfers over to the internal combustion engine okay so, so the internal combustion engine all provides power to the wheels but also helps generate electricity for the electric motors actually the the rear electric motor okay is also a generator oh, okay. okay so as soon as you lift off the throttle mm -hmm. or as you brake we can actually recover energy okay so but I never have to plug it in Never have to plug it in. It just magically creates electricity through Acura magic. Through Acura magic. <laughs> so this is a mid-engine sports car, correct? Absolutely. Okay, do I have trunk in the front and trunk in the back? You do not have a trunk in the front. Okay. 
Uh, Bottom the rear, what do I got? You have a wonderful, as an NSX, uh, NSX, I, I say the original NSX uh, made everyday supercar no longer an oxymoron. And <laughs> okay. so, in the vein of that, open up that trunk and you'll be able to put, uh, there's two people. Yeah? Two, two bags. bags. Yeah, no, two two everyday Samsonite carry-ons. Oh, really? Yeah, and you know, and inside, lots of small amenities and nooks. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a real car for real people who want to sometimes enjoy their favorite road and sometimes cruise up with their favorite friend and discover a new road. Do you guys have a top speed on it? We do not. You do. He we does. do. I we know do. you have it. But you don't. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so mid-engine V6, horsepower north of 550. Uh, what about my transmissions? Uh, a nine-speed dual-clutch transmission. That's okay. going to be the transmission we offer. Okay, and I'm assuming to get the dickies. Correct. Paddle, Paddle shift. shift. Rev matching. Absolutely. Of course. Why am I even asking? <laughs> um, and what about competition? I mean, where does this car really slate in? Because you could kind of talk about it maybe being against the BMW i8, but then you could also talk about it being, you know, competition with the Porsche 918. I mean, that's much more expensive, but you know, it's the same idea as a, you know, a hybrid, a turbo mm -hmm. hybrid. Yeah. The the competition actually is uh, 911 turbo R8. B10, okay. as well as 458 Italia. Uh, the 918 is a, a hypercar, much higher price point. Right. But as you pointed out, uh, when, we, when we first started development, there were not a lot of hybrid supercars. Right. And But our hybrid, much like the 918, is all about performance. And so without that type of hyper price tag, mm -hmm. here you have that type of accessibility and performance. So when you talk about competition, you really take the hybridity-ness, that's a word, out. I just made it up, you take out. it out, and you yeah. just deal more with performance um, and price. Correct, because okay. at NSX is just, uh, NSX always stood for new sports experimental. So okay. experimenting with the latest means to provide the absolute best driving performance, but you're not trying to take driving performance, the control away from the driver. Right. It's in the driver's hand. So it as, be. as you say, as you say, it's not about the technology. Okay. This is just a method to provide this amazing direct acceleration, braking, right. and quarters. So you have an emotional connection to both the car and the road. Absolutely. Okay. You are in control. We are not controlling you. Damn right. Well, you've heard it straight from the engineer's mouth. We've got a mid-engine twin turbo hybrid. Uh, horsepower north of 550. Now, when you think about competition, think about it. He said that it was going to compete with the Porsche 911 Turbo, maybe with the Audi uh, R8 V10. So think about where those cars are priced, and you might have an idea of where the new Acura NSX is going to be priced. In terms of delivery, I know that they're going to be able. You're going to be able to start building your own NSX sometime in the fall. That's it for today. I'm Emmy Hall for TFL Car reporting from the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, you can go to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. And you can find us on all those social media places. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.